kids, it's the Mr. Fly here, I hope you're well. Now on the odd occasion, I've found myself wishing that I could take my bike places without actually riding it there. For example, the dirt bike, if there's a trail somewhere that's a long distance away, may not want to ride all the way there just to, to ride the trail. So the obvious answer to that, of course, is to get yourself a trailer to take your bike to where you want to go. Now I've done just that, I bought myself one of these things, it's called a Moto Lug, uh, and it's a, quite an amazing bit of kit. It's built in England, it's very well made, um, and the great thing about this is that it starts off in a, in a very small state, i.e. kind of disassembled uh, and folded up. So what you can do once you've used it is re-disassemble it, and then put it in the back of the car. So it's not something that you have to have left attached to the vehicle uh, when the bike's not on it. So, so it's great in that respect. It's also very simple to build. Um, here's a little clip of me building this earlier. You'll see that it just, uh, you know, you basically just put the wheels on, uh, unfold the device, plug it into the car, and then there are just some pins that, uh, that keep the thing together. So it's a very straightforward build. Uh, and then the other novel thing about it is actually the way you load the motorcycle itself. So let me show you that now. Right, the first thing that you've got to do uh, in order to convert this trailer into a ramp so you can get the bike on is uh, remove this pin here. Very important to remember that you've taken it out because uh, if you try and go anywhere without it, you're going to be in trouble. So that pin comes out first of all. And then all you do, there are a couple of clips in here that you just release and then you pull the whole trailer upwards and it makes it basically into a ramp. So very simple, pull those up like that, pull it like that. Bingo, there we are, a ramp, how easy was that? Okay, so putting the bike uh, onto the trailer is basically just a matter of getting it into gear and uh, then kind of hand riding it up the ramp. It's probably better as a two-man job, but it is possible uh, for one man to do, as I hopefully I'm about to demonstrate. Okay, so with the bike on, uh, it's just a matter of uh, setting the trailer level again before strapping her down and then you're ready to tow. So once again, there's a couple of clips in here, you push her down and then the clips re-engage when it's level and then you're good to go once you've got the main bolt back in. So release those, give it a push, not too far. There we go. Good, and then The main bolt again, and actually, I'm going to feed these wires underneath just to stop them getting tangled in anything. Perfect. Okay, now the bike's relatively secure like that with the uh, wheel in the clamp that comes as part of the kit. Uh, but to make it completely uh, secure, uh, then I'm going to just put a couple of um, ratchet straps on her to make sure she's not going to move at all. So that's the next job before we go. Okay, there she is on the uh, trailer. I've just put a couple more um, straps on as well, one through the back of the swing arm uh, and then one actually through the front wheel as well just to make sure the thing is securely gripped down onto the trailer. She is as secure as you like now. She's not going to go anywhere. Um, so that's it for actually getting the bike on the trailer. Let's go now and have a look and see how she tows. Okay, so uh, here we are in the car towing the trailer. Uh, I have to say the car is absolutely brilliant at towing anything and, uh, and I can't even notice I've got the trailer on to be honest. Uh, as far as the vehicle is concerned, all is well. Uh, the trailer itself, when I look in the rear view mirror at it, I can see that the bike is moving around quite a bit, and in fact I stopped earlier on uh, and just put an extra strap on it as well over the handlebars just to make sure she was absolutely secure. Um, so I think absolutely you have to pay attention to strapping her down properly. But uh, now I've done that, it, uh, it looks okay. It does move around a bit. I'll try and show you a shot if I can from the trailer itself so you can see what I mean. Um, but uh, it seems sound. I've stopped and looked at the bike hasn't moved at all all as well so uh, there you are so that's the moto lug uh, trailer hope that's been of some interest to you if you're in the market for one of these sort of things and I look forward to speaking to you next time until then this has been the missing and fly cheerio